So Apple and an increasing number of other companies are receiving a lot of hate for switching to all USB-C on their devices. But now that the hype has started to die down a little bit, what advantages does USB-C have? So the USB-C takeover kind of started in 2015 with the Retina MacBook which switched to a one port design, a USB-C connector that could handle everything from charging to USB-C to video out to ethernet and everything in between just through this one connector. I mean, it also had a headphone jack, but you know, that's kind of... They then really stirred the pot by bringing these same changes over to the MacBook Pro with either two or four Thunderbolt 3 ports, which are of course based off of the USB-C connector. Now this has caused quite a bit of controversy, and I did address this a little while ago with my video called The Truth About Dongle Life, which was sort of tempering everyone's hype about how this dongle life is going to ruin your experience with a computer and all. And while it is true that USB-C only computers do have some pretty significant downsides in the here and now, I think there's a lot of really great things about USB-C, even if it's with other ports, that a lot of people are overlooking. So why did I decide to make this video? Well, really it started the other day when I was in class and I had my MacBook, my 2015 Retina MacBook, the computer that started this whole trend, and I had it plugged in in front of me charging. So my friend who was sitting next to me has a Galaxy S8, and she was saying that her battery was dying. And then I remembered that the Galaxy S8 also uses USB-C for charging. So I just unplugged my MacBook and plugged in her cell phone. As I did that, I was kind of like, huh, that is really cool. We finally reached a point where we have a connector that is almost universal. Now, granted, it's not quite there yet. It's still relatively new in terms of a technology and in terms of adoption. But just the fact that I can sit there charging my Apple laptop and my friend next to me with her Samsung cell phone can use the same charger. That just really says the future to me. I think we're a ways away from having everything completely wireless, but as long as we are going to have wires, they might as well all use the same type. Just think about the possibilities of an all USB-C world. You could take your same cord that you use for charging, unplug it from your power brick, plug it into your TV, and now you've got an HDMI cord. You can have your USB flash drive that has a USB-C connector, plug that into your MacBook, and then plug it into your cell phone. There's, there's really a lot of possibilities, and some of them are already here, so I don't know if you guys have been aware, it really wasn't covered as much as it should have been, but when Apple unveiled the MacBook Pro back in 2016, well, I mean, not the, you know, the new MacBook Pro, they showed off these new displays by LG, and one of them was a Thunderbolt 3 based 5K display. Now, what makes this display really interesting is that you can plug your MacBook into it, and it's basically a one cord solution. So basically, you plug in the monitor with a standard wall power adapter, right? And then you have the cord that you use to charge your MacBook. You can plug one end into your MacBook, and then you plug the other end into the LG monitor. Now what's really cool about this is not only are you running a 5K display from a laptop with only one cord, but that same cable also allows you to charge your MacBook through the monitor. So whereas in the past with even just a 2015 MacBook Pro, you would plug in your MacBook and then plug in through either Thunderbolt or HDMI to your monitor, now you can just plug in, use only one single port, and you are charging your laptop, outputting in 5K, and you also have the sound which outputs through the monitor as well. So you really are doing a lot of things through this one port, and the possibilities are really endless. In theory, you could have a, a workstation or any laptop that instead of having your assortment of USB-C, your Ethernet, your charging port, you could just see laptops coming out that just have a row of USB-Cs along one side and that's it. And the really cool part about this is in an all USB-C world, having six USB-C ports wouldn't even 
cost you any connectivity because you would still be able to do video output, charging, and USB connectivity. If anything, it would make devices more versatile because instead of having a dedicated port for each function that you want to do, you could just have five ports and kind of pick what you want to do. Much like me gesturing with my USB-C dongle right here. This is the past. This is the future. So that'll do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was kind of a little bit of a rambly video, but I just wanted to share with you guys my thoughts on the future of USB-C and why I think it's such a great technology. As usual, make sure to like and subscribe. And of course, I encourage you to consider joining my subreddit. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.